Hi everyone, it's Kathy. Welcome back to my channel. I've been getting a lot of questions on my Bartholin cyst related videos that I'll link down below. So I'm just gonna go over the most frequently asked questions there. So first question, did you take turmeric before or after a meal? So I take turmeric at night, six capsules all at night after I have dinner. I don't take turmeric on an empty stomach just because I don't want it to irritate my stomach. I have another similar question here that asks, may I ask how to take it? Is it every day? How many pieces per day? Is it after a meal? Can I take it even without the lumps, meaning the cyst? Um, so yeah, I take my turmeric every day even though I don't have an active cyst right now. Um, I do get irritation from time to time, so that's why I make sure I take it every day because I really don't want the cyst to come back. Sometimes if I'm feeling a lot of irritation in the morning, I'll take three in the morning and three at night. Maybe that works better for you, but always after a meal. Next question. Hey, were you able to drain it naturally? Yes, I drained it naturally. I used a sits bath. That really helped it just pop right away. I didn't really have to do anything to it after that. Another sits bath related question. What are you guys putting in the sits bath? So I don't put anything in the sits bath, but I've heard people put Epsom salt, apple cider vinegar, um, like essential oils and stuff like that, but I don't put anything. I just put boiling water into the sits bath. And yes, it will be very uncomfortable sitting down on it because it's like, you're sitting on boiling water. Don't sit directly on it because you may burn yourself, but know your limit. Sit down a little bit, then plop back up. And I do that for about 10 to 30 minutes. You're gonna be sweating, you're gonna be hot, you're gonna be annoyed, but you need to do this <laughs> to help yourself get better. So this is my sits bath. I just, oh my gosh. I just plop this out and this right here is where the water goes so you just put this on your toilet and then you know the steam is going to come up from here and then this is where you would sit so really be careful where you're putting the boiling water i would suggest only boiling water because then over time the water is going to get cold again so you can really optimize using the boiling water so this is what i use the first time i did it i used a pot i got my boiling water i filled it I, mean, I sat on the ground with the pot. You could do that too if you don't want to get a sits bath, but I totally recommend doing this because it's something I'm going to have to do for the rest of my life. So might as well get a proper sits bath. Also, a normal bath and a sits bath are two different things. They are not the same. A normal bath won't prevent the sits won't prevent the cyst from coming back because you're not getting that steam hitting your vagina or the cyst if you have it active but ultimately to prevent bacteria in your vagina i would say get one of those so good someone asked can i eat natural turmeric how much natural turmeric blah <laughs> how much natural turmeric can i eat in one day um i'm not sure how much natural turmeric you can eat in one day and i'm not sure if natural turmeric is effective you could totally try it. I would say get the capsules because that's the only way you really know if you're getting the right amount of turmeric or not. You're gonna just be like estimating with natural turmeric, but definitely give it a try and make sure you're adding like sprinkles of black pepper into the turmeric because you need black pepper for the curcumin to better absorb in your body. Next question, would you recommend an equal product easy to find in Italy? They do not ship beyond USA. Any turmeric capsules that have bio pepper in it and curcumin, really good just try that um see really what works for you i'm sure they might have something like that in italy maybe at your local vitamin shop or pharmacy what was the name of the ingredient that needs to be in the turmeric bioparin or biopeprin black pepper needs to be in the turmeric the bioparin really helps the curcumin better absorb in your body so really make sure the turmeric you get has bioparin in it because not all of them do does hot compress prevent it from coming back no, the hot compress does not prevent it from coming back. I have tried it before and it really does nothing. I mean, it kind of feels nice a little bit. Like it kind of like soothes the irritation, but overall the sits bath is like the way to go. So someone asked, how long will it take to use the turmeric and notice it's shrinking? So it took me about two to four weeks to really notice the cyst completely gone. And also it's really crazy because like, the texture of my labia minora changed because of the cyst so it took me about like a month or two for that texture to really come back to normal i was wondering that will it swell again if i had sexual intercourse because that's what it does since the mucus gets blocked the gland swells 
want to get swollen again i'm just so scared to have sex because what if it comes back and that is exactly what's gonna happen i'm telling you it took me about three to five months to ever like have sex again and i was so so scared even to this day i do get scared because it's like this cyst can really like debilitate you this is something you know you can't walk you can't do anything so it's really scary i would highly recommend to get a lubricant any sort of tugging pulling any sort of the slightest bit of friction it's going to irritate the cyst the cyst is going to come back so really get a lubricant it's going to save your life and i would also recommend to not have sex the same amount that you were before so definitely lower that frequency don't do it as much as you were before because you know you can't take it anymore it's just too much friction even with the lubrication it's just like too much friction so don't go crazy when your cyst goes away definitely try to you know tone it down you know be conservative <laughs> You know what I mean? But also this is really individual. So you feel like if with the lubricant you get no irritation, then by all means, do whatever you want. Have sex as many times as you want. But just be careful and know that you can irritate um, the cyst and it will come back. So. And someone asked, what type of hygiene should we have? Can you make a video? As literally my doctor doesn't say anything about it. All I can understand is the internet. I totally feel you on that one because I didn't understand my doctor either. They didn't tell me anything about hygiene. So I use a natural soap to wash my vagina. I use the Nubian Heritage soaps. This one smells really good. It's coconut and papaya. This is one of my favorites. And the African Black Soap, really good. I love both of these. Um, so I use this brand a lot. And I make sure that no one else is using my soap at all because I'm not trying to share any bacteria from anyone else. Please do not wear any tight fitting clothing, no tight underwear, no tight shorts, no tight leggings, nothing that's tight that will put pressure on your vagina. Do not wear it. Any sort of clothing that's going to put pressure on your vagina is going to irritate the cyst. Even having your legs crossed for too long irritates me. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Make sure that you have really comfortable, loose fitting underwear. Not too loose, but loose enough where you don't feel like it's super tight on your skin. I also wear really loose pajamas at night and pajamas that like won't ride up at night. And I also don't wear underwear because it's kind of nice to have like that airflow there. So that's really good too. Wearing thongs can be very irritating to your vagina. And I don't know why we wear them. It's just so annoying. Cause like I have a pet peeve of like people seeing my underwear line. So that's why I like wearing them. Finding the right thong that won't ride up too far and irritate you down there and ones that aren't like lace or anything fancy do not wear those that will irritate you find one that's a very soft fabric and won't irritate you at all and also make sure to shower frequently shower in the morning shower at night and shower right after you work out because you don't want to be sitting in the sweaty underwear does the puss fully come out or not because only a little bit came out for her so mine didn't come out fully like there was some blood there i think it might have came out fully but i'm not sure but after i popped it it was still a lump there and it took some time for it to go away i'm so happy that i've been able to help so many women out there regain their lives again because this cyst is literally debilitating and we do not deserve to go through this so let me know if you have any questions send me a message on instagram i am more than happy to help out see you all in the next video bye